Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendan, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see why is it that you've met your special person, okay? So what's the reason behind your meeting here, behind you crossing paths? Every person that comes into our life is either a lesson or a blessing. So we want to know, you know, what is the reason behind your connection with this person you're meeting here? This is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here, where the show more section is. I would like for you to take a moment and just really focus on your romantic person and their energy here. And then when you're ready, come back and join us. We'll give the cards a shuffle and see what is the reason behind the two of you meeting your your. Um, paths crossing with one another. I feel this connection with uh, your person here is teaching you a lot of lessons here, okay? It may be a connection in which the two of you are in and out of each other's life, like a fluctuating presence. It may have been a connection in which the two of you have known each other in, um, like you've had history with each other and you've known each other in the past and you've only now recently reconnected with one another. But to me, the Page of Swords here shows an abundance of energy. The turbulent clouds in the background does uh, suggest to us that there is, there has been some sort of, I guess, uh, challenges, some opposition maybe, some uh, confusing emotions here, or some just confusion in general here with regards to this connection and to this person. But it feels like there is... There is a connection that the two of you share, okay? And there is, to me, it feels like there's also a bit of a nervous energy. So I don't know if this person is someone who gets really nervous around you and has a hard time expressing their emotions. Or I don't know if this is how they make you feel, where um, you get a little bit nervous and a little bit jittery around them here. Again, as an emotional state or even a quality, this card can mean that um, it sometimes uh, can represent a person who's weary of emotional intimacy. So maybe that's the reason why this person has fluctuated in and out of your life. They're scared of emotional intimacy. They're scared of commitment. They could also be like a restless type of energy and someone who doesn't necessarily like to conform. It's a nervous energy, which to me sort of borders on anxiety as well. Maybe your person is just... Um, a little bit anxious or scared of emotional confrontations and therefore they be, can be completely emotionally avoidant or just avoidant of communication and certain issues with the con uh, within the connection. I feel like some of the issues that this person is bringing to the surface kind of mirror some of the issues that you could be experiencing on yourself and within yourself and this is why I feel like there's just so much lessons from out of this connection, learning to emotionally express yourself better, learning to communicate here with a sense of honesty, transparency, not really holding back because you're only holding yourself back in the process. See, Nine of Wands Reverse tells me someone here is running away from the problem. So I guess when things are good, they're good. But when things aren't so great, um, they're not really good at all, right? And in, and it feels like someone here is afraid to open themselves up to love and um, becoming vulnerable here, right? Someone is afraid to emotionally express themselves. Someone is also afraid to confront pain or confront the issues that this emotion, sorry, this connection can have. So to them... You know, they're maybe prone to running away or just completely avoiding it. So this is why it's teaching you to not run away from your issues or not running away from any um, any concerns, any red flags here. Okay, so 
it also feels like someone here is turning their thoughts or their insecurities into a personal prison that keeps them bounded here so someone is afraid of opening themselves up and they keep themselves closed off like a prison someone is afraid of making a long-term movement or commitment from this connection which is why i feel like look there are feelings there and it's not coincidence that the two of you keep gravitating towards one another but i feel like to me it feels like the reason why this person has entered your life is to help you understand some of the emotional trauma or some you know personal insecurities or personal issues of your own because they're essentially holding up a mirror whatever you love about them and whatever you admire about them is things that you admire about yourself on the flip side of the coin whatever it is that kind of bothers you about them or upsets you is basically what also can be found within your energy so this is like the universe's way of trying to show you that there are certain things within your energy that need to be healed some emotional wounds that need to be nurtured here some personal issues that need to be worked through okay and this is why this person has come into your life to help you do that so there's a lot of lessons which i feel like are making themselves available to you through and working through this connection but it's up to you to not run away and avoid it it's up to you to confront the pain confront the issues so that this doesn't keep happening with this relationship or with any future relationships here so to me, it feels like there are some things that need to be faced here. In a way, they are self-inflicted, self-created. Um, but whatever it is, you're not. It's like blockages, and if you're not going to work them on yourself, or if you're not going to work on this in the connection, it's going to prevent you to, uh, in order for you to grow and reach um, the heights that you need to get to. Right. So it's encouraging you to be brave, to be bold here with all of this fire energy um don't make any hasty decisions that could potentially end up in regret here try and really think things through um and really try to me it feels like this is a reflection of a personal fear or a mentality that is absolutely impacting you or impacting your energy and overall impacting this connection so the reason why this person has crossed paths yes there is potential in this connection but this person has some inner work to do as do you and their appearance in your life their presence is like sort of they've come into your life and they're holding up a mirror and they're reflecting back to you what you need to work on so the fact that they, they keep running away or they keep avoiding things maybe that's a personal fear of yours as well that needs to be worked in okay but whatever it is it's a fee that i feel like is consuming you or the both of you and it's sort of like holding you prisoner and you absolutely don't want that it's a relationship that i feel like the both of you have been fighting for and look it's draining you it's completely draining you it's exhausting you it's yes disagreements are absolutely only natural between two people okay but make sure you're not the only one in the relationship who's willing to do the work and is willing to do this compromise and the sacrificing you need to be able to meet each other six you, you need to be able to successfully meet each other halfway here to ensure okay and boundaries are absolutely important in this connection maybe the other thing that it's teaching you is to set up boundaries because if your boundaries aren't firm if they're not rigid people are just going to come over and just step all over that they're just going to knock those boundaries down you know knock them sideways so it's important that you do have boundaries it's important that people know you know when you say no that's what you mean or you know when you're not willing to entertain something or tolerate something then stand by it okay it's important that you put up those firm rigid boundaries here because to me it feels like maybe there are certain boundaries that you need to be that you need to be putting up to in order to keep certain people out okay um a lot of lessons look there is a lot of attraction there is it is a special connection but i feel like there's goodness so much about this connection is about letting go letting go of your fears anxieties worries insecurities letting go of this you know mentality that no longer serves you letting go of um being unable to communicate and express yourself letting even letting go of any past hurt past pain or resentment there's just so much i feel like in the connection that is um, asking you to like do some work on yourself here the two of cups in reverse tells us that there may have been a balance in this connection once but now it's broken um, and there's a disconnection or a discord that's not to say it can't be restored because it can but right now you guys are out of completely out of sync with one another and you don't really share that emotional connection that you once have done in the past here 
It could be like a breakup, a distrust, a disharmony here that we're picking up on, right? There is a sexual energy between the two of you, a fiery sexual energy here that's indicated by the cards here. But it's going to take more than that to keep the two of you back, like to keep the two of you coming back to one another. Okay, so um, here's the thing: if you don't love yourself, you're going to end up projecting that onto other people. Okay, in in the way you might become really clingy, really needy, um, or just attracting the wrong type of person. Um, that the same goes for your romantic energy. Okay, so there's there is a shadow side of the two of cups. There's a shadow side of every card here. So before you know you seek out someone else to love, make sure you love yourself. Make sure that you fill your cup with all this beautiful juice. Um, fill your cup and chalice right with this beautiful juice first before you go ahead and you know try fulfillment. Try to find fulfillment in a relationship first. Find it first. Give it to yourself, guys. Okay, so a lot of very deep, powerful lessons that this connection is trying to teach you here. Okay, it's up to you to open yourself up to those lessons. Alright guys, thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. For those of you interested in a reading, feel free to inquire. Otherwise guys, bye for now.